10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Welcome to the 204th episode of the Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly Report. I'm Tim, reporting live as the clubhouse prepares for the Olympics. Every Olympic game seems, every other games committee seems to add new sports, and these games are no exception. Let's go over to James, who's a favorite in the extreme gardening. These games. Hey, clubhouse, in preparation of the Olympic games, Members, staff, and myself have been preparing for all of our events. I'm hopeful for gold and extreme gardening in the all-around at my best event, Bountiful Bouquet Freestyle. Hello again, Magnolia. So now back to other news, coalition uh, work that we've been doing, Clubhouse Ohio. Uh, one exciting new update is we just got our uh, updated logo and our banner as you can see uh, we also got our brochures printed we've got a whole stack of these if you haven't seen them uh, come check them out and we also have new t-shirts with the logo on the back and the small version on the front so we've been busy and it's been an exciting time around the state uh, in fact we just recently did a trip out to friendship clubhouse in ashtabula uh, Charlie and Emily went with me on that trip here recently and what what how did that go Emily what I, what did we do I thought it went pretty well we went there and we, we talked with them about clubhouse stuff about how they're doing and you know ways that we could help them grow there were six members and two staff there we had a good lunch uh, it's a nice space we had a uh, chicken uh, vegetables and roasted potatoes for lunch. They have a mascot, uh, a bearded dragon named Ochi that one of the staff, staff brings in and I got to hold him and interact with him and that was fun. And they were nice people and I thought it was just a cool uh, opportunity. Yeah. I'm glad I got to go. Well, you were there too. What did you think, Charlie? I think it was a, a nice trip to uh, one of the, the clubhouses that are that's being, uh, uh, being done around the state. And uh, friendship is uh, thinking about ways to increase their enrollment, their, ro uh, their membership enrollment. And uh, they approximately have between uh, 10 to 12 regular members that, that attend the clubhouse. Uh, they was also talking about different ways of recruiting new members. But one of the things that uh, 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 all the coalitions talk about is increasing their staff. And one of the ways of doing that is uh, Medicaid billing, is to increase your staff. So, uh, 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 and, uh, so uh, we talked in general about how uh, to increase staff, and we figured it out that it would be approximately at Friendship Clubhouse 50 uh, members would be kind of like a full and full engagement and enrollment for their for their clubhouse. Yeah, that's great. You've been on a couple of these with us now, haven't you, Charlie? Yes, I have. I have been to Dayton, uh, Cincinnati, and uh, now just recently to Ashton Bueller yeah. uh, Friendship Clubhouse. So yeah, it's it's really a great opportunity to go out and really see how these smaller clubs are getting established and, and starting to grow. And we're going to be doing these on a regular basis. In fact, the next trip coming up will be August 5th. We're going to go out to John Murray Clubhouse in Chardon and spend a little time with them. And, and like Charlie and Emily said, we uh, usually do some kind of uh, discussion or presentation and, and, and really try to get to know them and, and figure out how best we can help. So uh, thank you both for going with, and I look forward to to more trips, right? So, yep. all right, thanks. Back to more ma Maine Magnolia news. Thank, thank you, James. I'm getting word that Fluffy is preparing for the house cat Kung Fu. Let's head over and see their preparation. Greetings. 
I am Matthew, and I'm here with my student, Fluffy, whom I have trained for a reasonable amount of time in the art of house cat style kung fu. Fluffy here has learned techniques such as climbing the scratching post, tossing the litter box, as well as paws of a catnip drunken master. Fluffy, would you like to demonstrate? Thank you, Fluffy. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew and I'm here with Colleen, one of our members here at Magnolia. And she is here to tell us about her new job. So, Colleen, please tell us more about your position and place of employment. I began working for the Legal Aid Society of Cleveland oh, April wow. 24th mm. as a receptionist. And I love it. Great to hear. What's your favorite part about this job? My favorite part is interacting with difficult clients because mm. I feel like I grow every time I handle that and I gain more confidence and self-esteem. And that's mm. a, I like growing, so that's my favorite part. Ah, by teaching we learn. I love it. Mm -hmm. And so, with this, what can you recommend as advice for members within our clubhouse to those that want a new job? I would say be courageous and you will be supported. They do not expect you to be perfect. In fact, they would, if anything, they would expect you to be imperfect. Um, they reach out and support for a reason. They're, they're, uh, any TE employer is, knows exactly um, where we are at um, in our, in our well-being, and they want to support us to get back on our feet. So they, at Legal Aid Society, they have been so supportive. The staff have been supportive. Um, I haven't felt shamed when I make mistakes or anything. You know, they, they understand I'm still growing and getting on my feet. So I would just say, you know, be, um, feel comfortable. Feel comfortable and feel like you can trust these uh, TE employers. Wonderful. Thank you for your words of wisdom on this, Colleen, yeah. and as well as everything in this interview. Sure. Thank you, Matthew. Welcome. All right. I'm Matthew. That was it for Colleen. And now back to more Main Magnolia News. Did you know that you can be both an Olympics athlete and a scholar in life? All it takes is determination, goal setting, and motivation. I think that some people are gifted. Gifted to become not only one thing in life, but many. Just look at some of the world's best athletes. They are both athletic and super smart. Most of them went to four-year colleges and universities after they completed high school. People like Serena and Venus Williams, Simone Biles, and Shakari Richardson. They all pursued their education first, then went on to compete in tournaments and competitions all over the world. That's quite amazing if you ask me. And you know what? You can do it too. They are simply inspirational, on screen and in their personal lives. Sometimes multitasking is a great way of making your goals come true. Being both a scholar and Olympic athlete is possible, but you have to make it possible. Don't give up on yourself or dreams or goals, Magnolia. Stay at it. And someday, you just might be on TV. Until next time, have a marvelous week. Quite the competitor, Matthew. Very fierce. Meow. Let's throw it to my colleague, David, who's covering track and field. Okay, we are here at the stadium checking in on our sprinters. Here they come now. Let's go to the win talk to the winner. Tell me what you're thinking. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up. <laughs> well, there you have it. Good luck on the next race. Thank Break you. a leg. <laughs> this is some tough competition. I'm afraid I might lose my championship title and show for Derby. There needs to be some rules or standards for this competition. But there are standards for this, like Standard 18 says, 
The clubhouse is organized into one or more work units, each of which has sufficient staff, members, and meaningful work to sustain a full and engaging work order day. Unit meetings are held to foster relationships as well as to organize and plan the work of the day. Well, there needs to be more standards because I'm starting to lose control of this wheel. Oh no! Thank you, Lori, for keeping us up to date with the standards. Make sure to always discuss these standards on your unit. I hear Kevin is gearing up for this year's surfing event. Let's watch him catch some gnarly waves. Calabunga dudes! Kevin here, even though I'm the best surfer in the land, I still need to practice my rad moves on the waves. I always check out the weather before riding waves, man. Let's see the weather is going to be this week. There's going to be a lot of clouds, mm, possible thunderstorms, which will make the waves big, but the temps are cooling way down, man. All the way to the low 80s. Now that's gnarly. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Smart idea for always checking the weather before you surf, Kevin. I'm getting reports of a fierce battle happening at table tennis. Let's tune in to find out more. Chuck climbed Mount Everest. No, he didn't. I'm certain he won Iron Chef. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I know he was shot out of a cannon before. Maybe he was, and maybe he wasn't. We'll find out during Friday Fun Day, Two Truths and a Lie. What's that? Staff members are going to share two truths and one lie about themselves, and we have to figure out the lie. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. Tough competition out there, folks. While you're enjoying the games of this year, don't forget to support all of our Paralympians. More on this after a brief message from our sponsors. Try Jimmy's Jams, a family recipe since 1944. Try all of our flavors. Pro Bill Jam at your next movie night. Relax at your next, next scrapbooking event with Lavender Jam. And our specialty, shh, we at the museum. Pineapple Jam. great social events we have going on this week. Starting on Monday, we have movies and floats. Enjoy tasty ice cream with your favorite soda. We'll treat with a cool movie. This event will be with Nikki and Megan and we'll be from 4.30 to 6.30. Next, on Wednesday, we have scrapbooking with Ryan and Angel, also from 4.30 to 6.30. Learn how to create a personal junk journal with things like magazines, greeting cards, and simple notebooks. Last but not least, we have a museum trip with Jordan and Kevin B. Saturday the 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we will be visiting some of the museums around University Circle. Schedule your rides according. Hi Clubbos, DJ here. The history of Disability Pride. Disability Pride Month ha happens every July to mark the ADA anniversary, which was passed in June 26, 1990. Chicago hosted the first Disability Pride Parade in 2004. Now there are events nationwide empower people with disability to take pride in who they are. Uh, there. Can you help me with the colors, Doctor? Of course, DJ, what's the first color? It's red. And red represents physical disabilities. And then gold? Gold represents neurodiversity, including cognitive and intellectual disabilities. White? White represents the invisible disabilities and disabilities that have yet to be diagnosed. Blue? 
Blue signals the emotional and psychiatric disabilities. And green. Green is for all sensory disabilities. And black. Yes, the black background symbolizes mourning and rage for victims of ableism, violence, and suicide. It represents protests against the mistreatment of the disabled community. Disability Pride Day is when? It is Saturday, July 27th. It is going to be held at the Fieldhouse Studio, West 117th. At 3 o'clock. Yes. It is going to celebrate Disability Pride, and it's going to be a free and public event. We're being celebrating with activities, art and crafts and speakers, dancing wheels, and a drag king. <laughs> and then DJ, could you share us a quote from one of your heroes? The best and the beautiful thing in the whole world cannot be seen or touched. They must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller, my hero, she was born deaf, mute, and blind. Wow. DJ, thank you so much for inviting me to help show light on the disabilities. It means so much to me. Thank you. And we're back. Thank you for our sponsors. Stay tuned for the Paralympics, which will begin right after the Summer Games conclude. It's going to be a good time. Someone who is always up for a good time is the infectious Dancing Jeff. I hear he has an important message on how some unpleasant infections spread. I was affected with the gift of dance from a young age, which I have perfected to compete in the year's Olympics. My moves has won no less than 50 U.S. titles in freestyle boogie dancing. I'm counting on your support. Unfortunately, what I'm here to talk about today is an affection of another type. This month's topic is infectious disease. These one cell organisms are responsible for illnesses such as strep throat, urinary tract infections, and tuberculosis. Viruses even smaller than bacteria, viruses cause a multitude of diseases ranging from the common cold to AIDS. Fungi, many skin diseases such as ringworm and athlete's foot are caused by fungi. Other types of fungi can infect your lungs or nervous systems. Parasites. Malaria is caused by a tiny parasite that is transformed by a mosquito bite. Other parasites may be transmitted to humans from animal feces. I'm Jeff and that is your health report. I hope nobody gets affected with anything except the gift of dance. Now back to more news. Don't forget to fuel up for all of our events at the Magnolia Clubhouse Cafe. Delicious and nutritious food to give you all the energy you need to win gold in all of your events. Weekly specials available. This week, specials are Monday, BLT with chips, Tuesday, vegetable power bowl. Wednesday, spaghetti with garlic bread. Thursday, tacos. Friday, BBQ's chicken with mac and cheese. We all love to see you there. Great report. Let's take a break from the games and go over to our 3 2 1 guys with an update on Cleveland sports. 3 2 1! Welcome to Magnolia Club of Sports. Along with Scott Troller, we have newcomer Mohammed Rashid. Welcome to the sports, Mohammed. Thank you, Glad Ethan Scott. You. Okay, we'll first start off with the 94th Annual All-Star Game as the American League rallied for a 5-3 win over the National League in Texas. Scott, which Guardians were responsible for the win? Well, David Fry had a big hit to tie the game at three, and Emmanuel Classe came in and was able to close out the game, and 
Help the American League hold on to get the win. For Plus A, it was the second consecutive All-Star game in his many years. The, uh, after this, the Guardians will be on a break, and then they will open up a, a large home stand in which the Guardians will have 40 games left in the regular season, which is more than any other uh, team in the American League. Elsewhere in Major League Baseball, the Guardians had, were to have the first pick in the 2024 draft. Mohamed, who was their pick, and how would he affect the Guardians? Well, Keith, the Guardians selected Travis Bazana out of Oregon State, a second baseman and shortstop. They drafted Bazana because he is a middle infielder with uncanny contact ability and great decision making skills at the plate. He's the first Australian born player and first second baseman to go first overall. He is not expected to be a generational talent, but is, it, but is expected to make a big impact in the coming years. And that is it for this edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports and KIL. That was the final buzzer. Mohammed, we do a little tradition on this show, and Scott will let you know. Scott, finish it off. And as I always say, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. Song, everybody. Ready, Mohammed? Three, two, one! Happy to see our Guardians are doing well this season. Speaking for seasoning things are getting spicy in the DJ booth as they are shouting out the birthdays. Hey Clubhouse, this is Turntable Specialist, a.k.a. Ferrari. Happy birthday, everyone! This is DJ Cool J. Here to wish everyone a happier birthday. Are you challenging me to a spin on? Yeah. You bet I am here for the turnstile gold medal. When I say happy, you say birthday. Happy. Birthday. birthday. Happy. Birthday. Happy. Birthday. To Natasha and Lisa and my boy Mahana. That's all you got. All the birthday people in the house. Make some noise. Happy birthday, Joyce. Happy birthday, Anthony. Happy birthday to Tavia, and happy birthday, Ace. You got some real mad skills, DJ Cool J. You too. I'll be seeing you at the Olympics. Stay tuned to see who wins the DJ battles these Olympic Games. Before we end this week's broadcast, let's watch Patrick get prepared for this year's eSports competition. Word on the street is he may be running into some trouble. Hey Patrick, what are you doing? Playing all these games, getting ready for the eSports tournament. Isn't it just great, Maddie? Uh, please don't tell me you're using an emulator. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I have to get prepared for uh, the Olympics. How do you know? You're not playing it on the official console? Uh, what's the problem? This website is allowing me to play it for free and not to mention it's Mario Kart for the SNES, which they don't sell anymore. <laughs> What's the problem? Everything! Patrick, not only are you exposing your computer to the risk of Trojans, viruses, and other malware by owning and playing pirated video games, you are breaking the law. You're just pulling my leg. Whoa, why are the police here? I come to arrest you. Don't you know, Patrick, owning pirated video games is a federal crime by copyright infringement? It's a misdemeanor, and you can face five years in jail and have to pay $250,000 fine. No way. no way. How could this happen to me before the tournament? Told you. All right, buddy, it's off to the slam. Oh, <laughs> This is so unfair. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> Yikes! Definitely make sure you stay safe out there, folks. All right, that's all for this week. Thanks to all the contributors to the Weekly Report, the communications unit which produces this news program. We encourage you to come up and join us if you're interested in participating. Be sure to check out Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page, X, Instagram, TikTok, and our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed what you've seen this week, then be sure to like this video and considering and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And please show these videos and pages with others. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website, and we maintain a presence on X, 
Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. Bye! Living with mental illness, join the club.